In this video, I'm going to teach you how to create a slime effect. So, in this week's video, I wanted to talk about how you can make a slime, drool, or like a gooey blood effect. I do this quite a lot in my miniatures, especially with my Tyranids. And recently, I got a game called Marvel Crisis Protocol, in which you play with Marvel characters and you fight little battles just like any miniature war game, it's more like a skirmish game like War Cry or something. And I've been a lifelong Marvel fan so having these little characters to paint has been a lot of fun. I'd recommend this game to any Marvel fans. And um, I recently got two expansions, one being the Hulk character and the other being Venom. Now I thought Venom would be the perfect opportunity to teach you how to do slime because of that big old tongue. I'm going to be keeping this video quite short as it's quite a simple technique to do. You're only going to need two things. An oohoo glue or yoohoo or ooha, aha glue, you hate you glue uh, and some cocktail sticks. has an excellent consistency where it just strings out and that's perfect for what we're going to be doing and it's clear. I'll be leaving a link to the Uhu glue in the description below so you can grab yourself a tube on Amazon. To use this glue I would put a little bit on a plastic palette to begin with and then using your cocktail stick scoop up a tiny bit on the end of your cocktail stick and apply it directly to where you want on the miniature to string the slime or saliva or gooey blood from. It's also worth noting that if you want it to look slimy, it can really help to apply a gloss varnish first to give the rest of the model that shine look. As you can see, I have done that with this Venom. So what you want to do is use your cocktail stick to pull strands of the glue between different areas on the model. I'm going to do some around the jaw and in between this big gap on the tongue and I'm going to try and get some bits that dangle from the tongue as well. Now this is a bit difficult because as you pull the glue down it wants to spring back up but it cures pretty quickly so all you need to do is hold it there for a few, a few seconds or like a minute and then use your fingers to pull the cocktail stick off and it should be fine. If you do it too quickly it will spring back up and it will be a really short bit that dangles off the tongue. But if you take your time, you can get a nice long piece. So that's how you create a basic slime and saliva effect. Now to create blood, there are two methods. On my Gasgold Thwacker, I did loads of the Uhu glue all over the claw and strung it down to the base and stuff. And then once it had dried, I went in with uh, blood for the blood god or you could just use whatever blood paint you want. And I painted it directly onto the dried glue. But what I'm gonna do with Venom is I'm going to mix a black paint with the glue on the palette. Although I'm not specifically doing blood, you would do the exact same thing to create blood. So as you can see, I've now made the glue black. And this little space between his foot and the pavement, I want to make it look like a tendril is still gripped to the floor as his foot gets pulled off the pavement. So what I'm going to do is use my cocktail stick to pick a bit of the glue up, place it on his foot, drag it to the pavement, and try and create a nice strand between the foot and the floor. As you can see, I struggled a little bit to uh, snap the glue. It had cured on the thingy and, I don't know, uh, had a bit of trouble. Uh, but it, it still turned out pretty well, and all of that black paint that then spread across the base, uh, I was able to just get a clean, wet brush and wipe away all that excess paint then dab it with a paper towel to get rid of it. So that's the basic method for doing saliva and like gooey blood and whatever you think you could use it for. 
for instance, any Nurgle players could use this for a gooey green look. Be nice and horrible and disgusting, like they are. I hope this video has been useful. If it has been, then please consider giving it a thumbs up or subscribing to the channel or leaving a comment on what you're going to try this technique on. Thank you all for watching and until next time, I will see you later.